Against Hope came about. Uh, one day I was over at the studio with Joey. He was just helping me out with learning how to record some of um, my own songs and he had, he had asked me to help him out with some Pristina um, tracks. So he threw down a ghetto beat. We knew we had to write something. So he's, he's laying stuff down on the pad also, the piano pad. And um, he, he's talking to me while he's playing and he says, I, I really like the concept of hoping against hope. And um, you know, like, you know, it's sort of like a desperate kind of thing. And, and while he's talking, I started singing what I heard. It was a really cool melody and Joey stopped talking and he jumped on it with me. Joey sent me this hook out of nowhere uh, from this girl I'd never even heard before. Her name was Jane and I was like, Jane? Jane who? But this hook was stellar, like something I'd never even heard of before. And it just kind of grew into this really amazing song. We're not releasing an album with Christina and, and I think that's really cool. We're really kind of going back a little bit and we're just we're releasing singles. It's a lot easier for people to part with 99 cents nowadays than 10 bucks and we, we didn't get in this to make cash so that's fine by me. A series of singles um, utilizing the talents of a bunch of different uh, female artists. The cool thing about Pristina is he finds vocalists like all over the place from everywhere like Annabelle isn't from here and he uses them and he uses their style to fit a certain style he's going for for each song. Each song with Pristina is so different. People get confused, they, they say, Pristina, is that the girl singing in it? Pristina is always featuring a different female vocalist. It's definitely female vocalist lead. Pristina's not a girl's name, though that's the name of the band. And I'll always, um, every song will be Pristina featuring whatever, and that's kind of how that works. So Pristina is me and Will, Will and I, all right? Um, and what it, and the goal of Christina has always been to have different female vocalists. So it's all these all these collaborations. Applies the talents of female artists, and we feature them in our tracks. We write together with them. Um, Joey writes a lot on his own. He'll send it over to me. I'll do my thing. I send it back. And it's just this kind of crazy mixing bowl of music. The idea is that they're all flexing a different muscle by singing on this kind of music. And so um, and then we get these cool singers that are out of left field, out of nowhere. I think he finds them under bushes and stuff like that and, and brings them in there and they do this magic and it's just awesome. I feel really honored to be a part of it because it's so different from anything I've ever heard or seen. And while there's danceable elements in it, it's not really fair to call it dance music, you know? Um, if you're into dance music, you're probably not gonna like it because it's not repetitive enough, you know? It kind of doesn't keep chugging along doing the same thing, which is important on the dance floor and on club play, but that's really what good remixes are for. That's why we get remixes and they kind of make things club friendly. But when I'm making this stuff together, my whole goal with it is the song is first and foremost. So the song is the song is the song. So whether it's with an acoustic guitar, a piano, or fancy production, the song should always still stand. And um, I think we have that. So I'm always thinking, would somebody who doesn't like dancey kind of music like this song. We want the people who hear this to be able to relate to it and to be lifted by it and you can't just, you can't just, again, for lack of a better phrase, you can't just DDR it yeah. and send it out because everyone will hear the beat and they won't hear the heart behind it and I feel like that's a difference with Pristina. It's just, it's infusing a bunch of different elements and I think that's really what makes it work. Our own megaphone because like the studio one is totally overdone. Right. So what do we got there? <laughs> what did we build? <laughs> well, we cut out the bottom of this plastic cup. You can do it yourself at home. And and what I'm gonna do is sing into the mic. I just cut my hands around it to make a big tunnel. I stand back like this, but you have to touch your mouth to the plastic. Give it. Don't be afraid <laughs> of being cut. You won't be cut. All right. <laughs> Anything else? No, that's it. You ready to do it? Yes. <laughs> Jane. Jane Cawthon. Jane is, um, Jane's a, first off, Jane's great. When you meet Jane as a person, it's really hard not to, um, not to be endeared to her. She's, she's really, really great. Um, I've been blessed with the fortune of everyone that I've collaborated with has been amazing, you know, and so Jane, What's cool about Jane vocally is that she can sound, um, she sounds vulnerable. You know, there's this like, uh, uh, 
this vulnerability that comes through in her voice, but yet underneath it has this total like fortitude, you know? So she has this really, she can sing with this precarious balance of, of being both weak and strong at the same time. And to me, that's really what this song needed, you know, was a, a little bit of frailty, a little bit of vulnerability, but yet a strength. And so she, that really pretty much sums up Jane and, and how she sings. What's crazy is that she sang live a lot, you know, but she's never really done a lot of recording. So this was kind of her first um, studio experience. And I'm, I'm recording with her. She actually has a band. Her and her sister have a project called Lindsay Jane. That is amazing. So I, I've been recording them. And, but um, she, um, I think this is a great first time out. You know, I, I, uh, she's got the goods, you know, so. And she's really cool. So that's really, that's pretty much the best combo you can get right there. Desperate to hold emotion of my own when ends in this up sentiment is oh Hope against hope is um it's so it's so much more than just a jam. It's something it really carries an awesome beat and it really carries this really great melody and it's really catchy and awesome. But the song in and of itself, it makes you whatever, like this is going to sound so cheese ball, but whatever you're believing for despite all the odds, you could sing about it to this song. Like if you are looking at something that's like insurmountable but you still have this awesome hope for something to be accomplished or to be done, this is your song. I, I mean. I was listening to it the other day and it, it just totally made me feel so much better about um, just about kind of looking at, at hard things and, and knowing that it's still, it's still gonna be okay. This song is, it's just, it carries so much for everyone. It can be translated 8 million different ways, which is why this isn't just for dance music people because it's not just dance music, it's more. And I 